So a few weeks ago, the first episode of Fruits Basket dropped in, it was good, gotta see the cuck squad, Honda's a good girl, had a good laugh out of the cliff falling on her tent, yeah that was pretty funny, and the ending was pretty, really pretty. And then, you know, a week later, uh, episode 2 dropped, as they usually do, and it was good, gotta see a dog stamp a postal box, hashtag Honda's a good girl, had a good laugh out of- Oh, that was nice. That that was a good reboot song. What was it called again? Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, again. Oh, that that's a good that's a good name. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Wait, that sounds familiar. D didn't Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Lord of Top Tens, the reboot of Full Metal Alchemist? have an opening called again oh. this opening makes me think of two things the first being nostalgia just pure unfiltered nostalgia i'm not sure if this opening makes you second timers nostalgic but it definitely did for me but not for the same reason because uh admittedly i've never watched the original fruits basket anime nor have i read the manga so by all accounts i i shouldn't feel nostalgic but i do I do for a completely different subject. When I was a kid, either my dad would play a concert video of the Eagles playing all the songs on their Hotel California album, or my mom would play some random Chinese love songs. And one of these songs, uh, one of which was probably the most memorable of my childhood, was called Lao Shu Ai Da Mi. <laughs> It's just an old song about loving someone as much as a mouse loves rice. So nothing to think too much about, but when you watch the music video that was associated with this song, it then becomes about some nice fat man turning into a mouse to cure a girl that he loves of her blindness. What the hell? I don't know what it is about China or actually any Asian country as a matter of fact, but they have such a hard on for dramas. A and you can definitely tell that they just love making everything just like a drama. A that includes their music. Like, for example, they could have a song about, you know, uh, having the best night, dinner and wine, nice hotel. But for the music video, Let's just have a chase scene with gangsters. Oh, big old gangsters. You know, like, hey, yo, I'ma kill your ass. You know, the uh, real intimidating motherfucker. And they'll have nothing to do with the song, but the guy will beat them up. Wow, that that's a lot of drama. Oh, 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 then they'll have another song about missing someone on a train or something, you know, cheesy like that. But for the music video, le let's just set it during a train crash. Oh, yeah, you know, Angel Beat style. Uh, that's gonna be great. Oh, and the terrorists that, that crashed the train. Yeah, there's terrorists now. They will come in and they'll be carrying more bombs. Yeah, uh, th that that's a lot of drama. But then, to really mix things up, they'll have a song about a guy calling his girl from a payphone to make it up to her one last time. But for the music video, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's make the guy and girl uh, working for a bank. And a robbery happens at the bank, and then they start running, running away from the robbers. They somehow dodge some bullets, and they get out of the bank, and then they start getting shot by cops. Uh, hold on. Why are the cops shooting at the- why are they running away from the cop- wait, aren't they the victims? They're still running. Why did he steal a car? This isn't even an Asian song. Why are we- why, why am I bringing up Maroon 5? Uh, that, that's a lot of drama. That, that's a lot of drama. That, that's a lot of drama. After listening to Chinese love song after Chinese love song for your entire childhood, you kind of grow attached to them. You know, the melancholy melody that they always have. You know, that piano. There's always a damn piano. And then that, that, the voom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That voom. Mm. I love that voom. Uh, can, can we play that voom? Oh, yeah, I, I just love that voom. Uh, but uh, skip a few years later, and adult. 
Fuenka is onto more sophisticated things in life. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll be going out, uh, playing pool, smoking a cigar, having sex, yeah. All that times zero, plus watching anime squared by uh, loneliness and crippling depression. So it was a surprising experience watching the new Fruits Basket opening, where all I could do was... Oh, I like that. Ah. Ooh. I like that. And then it got me thinking. Y you know, Japan has its food. Food that looks like art. Uh, it's anime. Oh, anime with loads of diversity. They can meet anyone's tastes. Idols. Uh, I don't really, I don't really have a thing for idols, but people like that type of thing. Uh, hentai. Yeah, all that good shit. But, uh, where's the generic? Slow melody drama music at. Where's the smooth piano love songs at? Where's the show about some couple falling in love and it turns out one of them has cancer? Actually, that last one might just be Korean dramas. To preference, there are plenty of Japanese dramas, but the songs don't do it. Don't play it. Don't express it. Like this new Again by Beverly Hills. Which is looking like it's gonna be my favorite romance opening song from anime ever. Big statement. I know. Big ass statement. But hear me out. Most romance anime songs can vary depending on what the production team is trying to portray. To keep things simple, let's take an opening that is similar in performance and tone. The thing about this opening is that while I want to cry like a little bitch, I'm also smiling like a 7 year old who just got a Star Wars Lego set from Toys R Us. It has this change in tempo, I, I think that's the right word, that goes from smooth gentle rubs to a joyride extravaganza. And I like that, I could be driving and the moment it goes, or I will immediately give the face of a man who just reached enlightenment and an orgasm at the same time while creating the next Nile River with my tears. But again, again, again just throws in a piano that overpowers everything with a quiet ambience and it's just great. I love this feeling, you know, this slow gentle feeling that's so impactful and consistent that makes me feel like I'm having the most relaxing bright dream ever dreamt. Oh and then it has that VOOM! Oh, that's nice, that's nice. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I love this opening because it has this melancholy, gentle portrayal of romance that highlights the ups and downs of life and the importance of companionship while giving off a feeling of loneliness to symbolize that love is more than an emotion but a way of life that encourages people to keep moving forward yet reminisce on the past because it encapsulates the beauty of- Oh, right, uh, the second thing the opening makes me think of is, uh... That one Kingdom Hearts song, Face My Fears. Huh. Y you know, it sounded much more uh, similar in my head. Hey guys, I'm not here to tell you to like the video or comment down below cause I'm not a fucking Neanderthal, but I am a barbarian. If you like the video or anything else I've done, consider subscribing, it'll help me out a lot. Thanks! Yeah that about it.